Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 27th, 2022. So yesterday afternoon, we were waiting and waiting and waiting for a couple of big tech earnings, and Microsoft and Google came out. They both, both missed on expectations, but the market didn't seem to care. Um, as a matter of fact, they bought up some of those stocks. Um, as a result of those reports, um, kind of an interesting situation. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see how things um, ended up faring here at the end of yesterday. As you can see, we continued to pull back a little bit here in the charts, but we we didn't break any support levels in here. So I still have to give this up to the bulls. This is still a bullish chart. We're still hanging in there um, at or near those 50-day moving average um levels and this morning we are getting um futures pumping to the upside um ahead of a big day of data um kind of an interesting situation we continue to see this pre-market or early morning pump up even though we're getting a considerable mix of earnings results um so let's watch that closely um, here on the day. Um, now, um, holding above that 50 day moving average, this is a bullish pattern or a round of bottom breakout that's setting up here in the chart. Question is, can we continue to hold that today with all the data coming our way? Or um, will we pull back some more? It's hard to know. Right now, we're looking to the upside here in the pre market, but there's so much data coming out this morning that could quickly and easily change today. As a matter of fact, we've already received a little bit of data and our uh, mortgage application numbers continuing to fall um, to some pretty deep levels here. And we're, again, we're trying to ignore that in favor of earnings reports. So um, let's keep that in mind and be really careful about rushing in first thing this morning because it could end in a pop and drop. We don't know that for sure and I'm certainly not trying to predict that but the possibility does exist. Now let's take a look at our technicals here. Our technicals, um, whoops, we already looked at the technicals. Let's look at our SPY. SPY, very much the same situation uh, pushing up yesterday, um, excuse me, pushing down yesterday but pushing up in the pre-market this morning despite um, those tech earnings that were not so favorable. Um, but as you can see here, we're holding in a very bullish pattern and we continue to hold above that 50 day moving average. Now, yesterday you can see we, we ticked down below that 50 day moving average, but the pre-market pump up, we're, we're all in this morning, um, rushing in, um, hoping that these earnings continue to stay, um, well, enough on the positive side to maintain the bullish rally. I would be a little bit careful and cautious again about rushing in this morning um, just because of so much data still coming our way here. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ had the worst of it yesterday, pushing down um, um, pretty strongly here, but we were so elevated above the 50 day moving average. We still didn't break that 50 day moving average. We did, however, as you can see, if I were to draw that line a little bit sharp, more sharply, we did, however, break down below that little bit of price support there in the chart, but the buyers are picking that right back up this morning. Despite the earnings, we don't seem to care. Um, and despite the really negative economic data that we've been receiving, we don't seem to care. So keep an eye on that carefully. And that's one of the reasons I want to suggest we still have to watch for that potential pop and drop um, in the market. And if we do continue to move up, remember, we've got quite a little bit of price resistance up here to deal with. 
if we happen to resolve lower, watch this right in here for that trend because we can still hold that upside trend. Our technicals here remain um, bullish. We are holding above that 50 day moving average and that rounded bottom breakout is occurring here. Let's see if they can hold that through all today's data. Let's take a look at our Russell. Now IB, um, IWM actually ended up being one of the stronger of the indexes yesterday, although we pulled back ever so slightly. I want you to notice that we held right in here on this price support. No major pullback here on the day on IWM. Now it was a whole lot of hurry up and wait yesterday and a lot of choppy price action in here. And uh, we tried to bring those stocks up here, the small caps and hold them up here. But let's watch that closely again today. We've got a lot of data that can change things pretty quickly. And this gap up this morning, I'll be honest, does bother me a little bit in that we had you know microsoft and google miss and although their their um, conference calls remain to the positive side and to the rosy side um, it still shows the weakness of the market and remember we've got a lot of more data coming our way here with uh, meta this afternoon um, uh, so we'll want to pay attention to these reports if we continue to get these misses um, it, it would be interesting to see that we just defy um, all of the data and continue to rise in the market but it's certainly possible let's take a look at our um, uh, VIX our VIX yesterday rallied up a little bit and I suspect that will reverse here today. Remember, we continue to kind of challenge around this 25 um, handle area in here where we have this big support and resistance area that runs back here a long ways. We continue to challenge that in here, but the good news is we still are maintaining this downtrend, this downtrend channel here in the chart. It is interesting to me that with the economic data coming out as bearish as it has been in some of those housing numbers and, and manufacturing numbers that we're just ignoring it. Um, but we'll want to watch that closely. Um, earnings tend to do that. We kind of get laser focused on earnings alone. And although we've had quite a mix in that, we're still trying to, um, trying to defy um, all of this um, data pushing the market up. And that does concern me here in the market. So again, watch this closely, but I'm still going to give this up to the bulls here on the day. They're doing a pretty darn good job of uh, making at least a show that we're not concerned about what's going out on out there in the economy. Now let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 um, yesterday pulled back. Now the good news about that in that pullback is it did open up opportunity for upside. So if we can find enough bullish energy in here, we have certainly opened that opportunity that we can move back higher here in the market. I want to also point out though that we still have a big open hole here that we could fall into if the bears kind of gain some control or edge here in the market. Can't say who's going to. As a matter of fact, I would say today, just like yesterday, anything is possible. There's an awful lot of emotion in the market as we're trying to build on this relief rally, but the data just isn't supporting it all that strongly. So watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 um, struggled a little bit yesterday, but ultimately ended up just um, pulling back a little teeny tiny bit. Now we're trying to um, bring some of these stocks up. Notice we broke through that resistance in the chart, unable to get up through this area, unable to get up through that downtrend. So um, it's an improvement. We're, we want to give that up to the bulls. 21% um, of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Now, if we look at T2108, T2108 pulled back as well. We're still struggling here along these resistance levels in the chart. In this overall downtrend, we're trying to make that decision whether or not 
we can push on through. Now, I think it is on the bullish side and it's been a nice improvement. 51% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. The question is, can they push on through? That's what we're gonna have to watch carefully for. And we're right there at those areas where we, it's time to make that decision. Either the bulls will push through or those bears will bring us back down. So we'll wanna watch that closely. Now, one of the things that continues to concern me, let's look at T2101. I don't think T2101 is giving us the best of information. Although we have pushed back up here into this resistance area and we um, showed a little bit of pullback yesterday on that, I don't think we're getting the best of information on that because if we look at our volumes here, volume yesterday was suspiciously low considering all the data coming out really really low on the day looking at the nasdaq we were low looking at the spy we were low on volume so kind of an interesting situation going on here in the market that we continue to rally but we're rallying on um, a very very weak volume overall and that does give me just a little bit reason for concern i'd like to see a little bit more volume follow through to actually say hey we're confidently buying this up and instead of this tentative look that we continue to receive here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now we've got a busy, busy day. And like I said, we've already um, missed on our um, mortgage applications here. I'll click on that and we can, let's see if it'll come up here. Sometimes this website's really, really slow. Um, we'll see if we can pull that up real quick. You can see we've already missed. Uh, we had a terrible miss last time, and they're continuing to show weakness um, um, yet today. 22-year um, low in mortgage applications, and they're continuing to fall. Um, if we take a look, we're going to have durable goods here this morning, and durable goods orders could be very, very important. Um, consensus is looking for a little tiny pullback. Um, I think it would be um, it would be pretty easy to think that might miss a little bit. So watch that carefully. We've got international trading goods pending home sales. Our home sales have been declining pretty sharply. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And this number right here would kind of say that's why people aren't borrowing due to the higher rates. And um, we have a petroleum status number here today. Um, that could be interesting because we've seen that recent bump up in those petroleum uh, prices again. Again. And um, then the, the big guy of the day, uh, Jerome Powell, will be out to talk to us today um, after the FOMC announcement. We can expect quite a little bit of volatility. Um, we're expecting a 75 basis point increase. And um, right now the news is kind of leaning that they're going to sound pretty hawkish in their statements. So um, we'll see if that's correct or not, but watch that closely. Now, I wish that was the end of it. I wish that we could find Finally breathe a sigh of relief, but um, not so much. We're going to get Meta today. We're going to get Amazon tomorrow, um, the big tech reports, and we're going to include that with a GDP number that could show us recession and jobless claims that have been creeping up. So we're not going to get a break um, um, tomorrow either. So prepare and think carefully about your risk as you move into Thursday. Let's take a look at our um, economic or earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is an extremely busy one, and I, there's no way I can cover all the notables this morning. Um, there are so many of them, um, about 170 companies on the calendar, and it's going to be over 200 tomorrow um, in uh, that are reporting. So kind of keep that in mind. As I mentioned before, we're going to get Meta um, this afternoon. That'll be the big tech notable uh, for today. But we're also going to hear from like ADP. We're going to get reports from um, the Cheesecake Factory. We're going to hear from Etsy. We're going to hear from Ford and General Dynam um, General Dynamics. Um, so keep an eye on those stocks. There's quite a few of them. And if you want to catch the full list of stocks um, like Qualcomm, um, um, is on that list. Doggone it, I can't type this morning, guys. Um, 
Qualcomm reporting this morning um, or today. So we'll want to keep an eye on these. Click that link that's in the um, just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. And I do think it's really, really important to be paying attention to those stocks that are reporting or about to report um, to protect yourself in this pretty wild market condition. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Um, I do truly appreciate it. I apologize yesterday. I got so busy with um, some phone calls and things that I had to take care of. I didn't get um, time to answer all of the comments yesterday, but I will be back on that task here this morning. So thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I appreciate it so much. You guys are truly awesome. Now let's take a look here and um, see if we can um, figure out a few stocks that might be setting up but for today. But remember guys, these are not uh, something that you're going to want to just rush into today because of the uncertainty. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and be thinking very, very carefully about um, how you might want to approach these today. Now, first off, let's take a look. Um, we saw some pretty heavy selling here in um, um, retail after Walmart disclosed that they were um, going to be cutting back on employment. Um, let's keep an eye in here where Walmart is down here toward this bottom. Now, I can't tell you um, if there's that chance that this could continue on down and make new lows or if we're going to find some upside opportunity. But the reason I'm, the real reason I'm talking about Walmart is because we still have an earnings event. And one of the things that we've seen here this quarter is that we've been rallying toward earnings. That may change here because of Walmart's warning that they made, but keep a close eye on some of those. Heading into the earnings reports, we've seen a lot of rally. Take um, um, Etsy as an example. Um, Etsy um, reporting today, and we've rallied strongly. Um, heading into those um, earnings reports. So watch those carefully um, as those earnings roll, um, begin to roll out because we could move up and there's been a lot of hype about um, the, this earnings season and um, um, considerable speculation that the market bottom is in. Now, having said that, um, um, Etsy, we get past our earnings report. If we don't get a great big move here in um, Etsy and we hold a higher low, I still think this is a very, very bullish chart to be paying attention to. So getting past those earnings events is another thing that you want to be paying attention to because we get past that uncertainty out there. So if this holds in this this area and holds this trend, there's no reason to believe that we can't move or continue to move onto the upside here in those charts. I want to point out healthcare. Um, um, even when the market, whoops, even when the market is uncertain, um, even when the market appears to be a little bit on the scary side, um, we're going to need health care. And we've been seeing health care hold up pretty strongly in here. Now, keep an eye on this as we move up. You can see we've got quite an inverted head and shoulders pattern that has formed here on um, XLV. Let's watch for that opportunity that this could break on through to the upside. Kind of an interesting chart to be paying attention to. And of course, with TC2000, it's really easy. You just click this one icon right here and you can bring up everything that's included in the XLV and you can drill down uh, very quickly to find those stocks that are moving in that sector. So keep a close eye on that. You might want to also take a look at like um, XLP. XLP, again, another pattern here that's starting to form itself. Um, these are the consumer staples and things that we're always going to need even in a recessionary market. So keep an eye on that. We're starting to see some of those 
perk through to the upside. And once again, click that link um, or that icon right there and you can see those stocks like ConAgra and Costco and Hershey and Philip Morris and Kroger and all of those stocks making up um, that move um, to the upside. Now, so many of these are, are in what we call the defensive sector stocks. They're usually the older dividend paying type stocks. So when we look at a stock like um, STZ. We want to look at these in a little bit different way because if you pick these up as the stock itself, you've got the dividend that you can think about here. Now remember to continuously pay attention to those earnings reports when those earnings are going to come out. But some of these started to perk up yesterday and um, some of them um, based on an earnings report. First off, Coca-Cola had a good report yesterday popping through this downtrend. And as you guys know, popping through the downtrend is one of the first steps for me. Now prove that you can hold up here above that uh, downtrend, hold on to that trend, and then I'd look for that next opportunity in uh, Coca-Cola. We also saw PepsiCo moving up nicely yesterday in that defensive sector, so something to pay attention to there. Overall, guys, I'm going to suggest you be very, very careful here today. If you're not an experienced trader, I would even suggest standing on the sidelines and just watching this um, wild, silly season uh, develop here because it could be a challenging day um, of price action and then look for lots of volatility um, um, as we hit some of these data points this morning and move toward that FOMC. Don't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop where we pump it up in the pre-market and then it just kind of fades because we're waiting on some of these data points. So be really, really careful. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best. I want to wish you po uh, profitable trading and I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.